the ever increasing awareness in the field of infertility and a lot of infertile couples shunning the apprehensions of infertility have seen today a lot of IVF centers which have sprung up in recent years. The number is increasing, it's never endless. So in order to help explain the concepts of an ideal, compact, fully functional, modular oriented IVF laboratory, this small clipping or this small video will help us gain an insight into the structure, the formation and the adequacies which are necessarily essential for a complete excellent IVF lab. As the saying goes, well begun is half done. IVF or infertility like any other profession needs a very concrete setup, excellent coordination from the baseline level and it amounts to a huge amount of paperwork, intense meticulous documentation, processing, file processing, report processing, data management, it all holds the key to success. Hence, the very important modality or the basic concept as far as documentation is concerned is very rightly the most important thing or the first step ladder of a successful IVF clinic which bounds to go till fruition. Activity is known to cause a lot of financial, physical and mental trauma to the poor infertile couple. The couple goes from clinic to clinic hoping for a miracle and many a times it is the sole duty of the center to provide hope to the hopeless. So essentially the most important concept or by default what is needed to those couple is a good session of counseling. Hence it is very imperative for every of the center to have a separate counseling room with an unbiased counsellor. The reason is the counsellor will counsel the couple, highlight a plus points, a few of the negative points, ifs and buts, do's and don'ts of the entire procedure as in this procedure there is nothing like a grey zone. We are either the black or the white. Hence, it becomes very necessary for us to enlighten the couples, to make the couples know and to make us prepare them for the best. Still, we cannot ensure a successful positive pregnancy but we definitely can put faith into the minds of the couple that what is done for them is the best ethically and medically. Once the process commences, the initialization or the initial of the process starts. The most important aspect keeping into consideration sterility, cleanliness, hygiene. So here comes is the change room coagulated with the scrub, the clean area or what we call it as a pre-sterile area prior to which the doctors and the staff make an entry into the actual culture lab. Here what they do is after cleaning and scrubbing and ordering the sterile gums, the next entry is into the main pickup room or the OP room. Post stimulation, the woman being stimulated post HCG with a load of follicles, the first step for the initialization of the process is the ovum pickup. And this does need a specialized room 
which is termed as ovoptic cup room, ideally kept separate from the other OBS and gynae procedures. Clean, ventilated, sterile, ideally 25-20 square feet. The modular version of this room, automated gadgetry, headlights, the OT table, automated, which could be given any posture positioning, peripheral gadgetry which can accommodate the anesthesia apparatus or what we call the boys apparatus, the nurses array of instruments, trolleys, trays, other paraphernalia. This is a modular version of an OT room or an OPU room. Control Air, AHU, Class 1000 in the center. Lighting panels by integrated control circuit, computerized. Post oocyte aspiration in the tubes to order to minimize the delay caused by temperature and subsequent pH fluctuations. A pass box which opens immediately into the adjoining IVF lab whereby the oocytes are immediately scanned, pooled and subsequently processed. Most important what is needed is a good leg space 